verification that they require and they desire. So um, there might be uh, an avenue for regulators in the future to, to say, all right, we'll, we'll accept some devices that might not have squid app compliant um, or field testing compliant. They might accept uh, lab test compliant. And um, I think that's where uh, lab testing is really valuable. Um, and it also provides an opportunity to fill in some gaps. So um, we've noticed with the, some of the sites that we've set up that um, we end up with uh, quite low concentrations on uh, some of those sites, influent concentrations. And um, you look at that and go, well, what could this system do at a higher concentration? Um, and so we um, have explored lab testing to address that question. Um, and um, I guess we can do that every now and then um, and add some flexibility with your target concentrations. Um, and um, it, it will start to um, tighten up the, the just that variability that's inherent with um, monitoring the environment. Um, so yeah, look, I um, am looking forward to the uh, uh, the review and, and hopefully a lab protocol that comes from that technical review panel, um, because I'd li like to see um, perhaps some lower levels there as some basic proof of concepts, then maybe a medium detail and then a high level detail uh, with perhaps some fully synthetic stormwater with some um, nutrient nitrogen species and particle size distribution. So. Uh, um, I would really encourage um, the labs, particularly the university labs, um, to um, to do that, uh, to submit and take part in that um, technical review panel.